So if you found your way here, you're in luck because I am going to show you how to scale past 10k a month if you're an agency, coach, or consultant. Even if you're starting with absolutely nothing, you'll still find value in this video as you'll finally understand what the big players in this space are going all in on, such as Iman Gatsi, Alex Hormozzi, and Brandon Carter. There's no need to be an expert, have past success, or have a massive following to get started with this model that I'm about to show you. Today, I'm going to guide you step by step on how you can finally scale past five figures a month and achieve six to seven figures in only 90 to 180 days if you stick with me throughout this whole video. These are real actionable strategies that can significantly change your financial future and start making some real progress. So there's a lot of different things you can do to scale your business. You can do cold emailing, cold DMs, pretty much cold outreach. So you're reaching out to people who don't know you through means directly to them. You can also do billboard ads, which gets you a lot of visibility. You can do bus ads as well, which gets you visibility as well. You can do newspaper ads, depending if you're targeting older people people or local people and you can obviously do tv ads as well but the one thing that really sucks with any of these types of advertisement is there's no trackable roi meaning there's no trackable return on investment so you don't actually know how much you're getting for what you're putting in so you can be spending a hundred thousand dollars on a tv ad and you have no idea of how many people it actually converted which is pretty shitty if you ask me and there's no long-term compounding meaning if you make one tv ad the next tv ad is not gonna perform better because the first tv ad performed right same thing with the billboard even if you build it by 10 billboards it doesn't mean you're gonna get extra billboards right you're not gonna get more reach it's not going to push it out more. With one billboard equals one billboard. And you see whoever, whoever passes by is who sees it. Same thing with cold emails and cold DMs. When you send one, you can only have one result, meaning one cold DM can only equal one person at best case scenario. So what does Brandon Carter, Alex Hormozzi, some of the top entrepreneurs in the space do? They build personal brands. As you can see, Brandon Carter, 1.18 million subscribers on YouTube, over 400,000 followers on TikTok, over a million followers on Instagram. And he also has a podcast that is super popular as well. Alex Hormozzi, he has a podcast as well which has 16,000 favorites, which is insane for a podcast. 2.3 million followers on YouTube. He even has a Twitter as well with 630,000 followers. He has a TikTok with almost 900,000 followers. And he has an Instagram with 2.3 5 million followers and do you guys think these guys are running tv ads newspaper bus ads and cold dming no that's not what they're doing so if you're listening to your favorite gurus and they're telling you to cold dm and stuff like that you should leave the video immediately because that is literally not the way you're going to scale at all if you look at any of the top players in the space none of them are doing that if anything they might be doing warm outreach to people who message them but none of them are doing these one-to-one -one linear strategies so this brings us into the aas branding framework which is building a personal brand this is the way they achieve their whole growth and how they multiply their incomes massively Alex Hormozzi makes one post on Instagram it can potentially reach 2.5 million followers plus non-followers so he can have over like 10 million reach with one post that costs him literally five dollars to make and this is why personal branding is the most powerful vehicle in 2024 for growing any type of service business even product business as well but mostly service type of businesses so what do we need to actually grow a personal brand this is where the aas branding framework comes in which is authority attention and sales so the first type we all need is trust trust is the biggest factor when you're accounting for a sale so this whole process is building trust to end up getting the lead to purchase from us automatically with them literally begging to give us the credit card and sometimes not even having to hop on a sales call so the first step of this is authority building content this is us making original content which is long form either a podcast format or youtube ideally we're going to be doing Doing both of these through YouTube, we're going to be using ideation systems, editors, scriptwriters, and thumbnail designers to optimize our content's reach and actual impact. The most of the videos we'll be doing are case studies, process breakdowns, like I'm doing right now, and outlier iterations, meaning looking at the top videos in your niche and your specific subject that you're trying to target, and you're doing iterations on it. That doesn't mean you copy them; you steal like an artist. So you look at what they're doing correctly and how you can implement it with your own twist and own personal spin on it. For case studies, you can give advice as well, which is super important and builds your authority in the niche as a trusted figure. The next step in our process is podcasting. Podcasting is one of the most important and best ways to convert people from your original content, from your attention building content, which we'll discuss in a little bit, to actually become paying 
clients and customers. So the way a podcast builds authority is through hosting and optimization. So this is pretty much you're posting it on each platform and optimizing it for the maximum reach. And the biggest thing of podcasts is it allows us to get guests as when they come on our podcast, it validates us as well. And it also gives us amazing exposure to their whole audience, allowing their audience to come over and become ours. So the big thing of guests is you always want to make sure that they're in the same or alternative niches. Because for example, if you're an accountant, you don't want to be doing a podcast with a boxer because the boxer is going to be bringing a bunch of fans who don't care at all about accountants, CPAs, tax forms, audits, and that type of stuff, right? And next is insights and storytelling. So this is where you're going to be giving your personal insights and professional insights on your actual profession, setting yourself up as an authority, and also telling stories that relate to people to give them more authority and more validity in what you're saying. So the next part of this framework is reach. So now that we have authority in the niche, so people trust us and we're a trusted figure and people know that we actually know what we're talking about, we need to get reach. We need to get attention because if no one knows about what we're selling it doesn't matter how authoritative we are because the podcast by itself has almost no reach like spotify apple podcast doesn't push it out at all youtube has a lot of reach by itself but we want to maximize this through repurposing and creating new short form content as short form has the most reach out of any type of content online the first one is podcast clips so we're going to be repurposing our already made content through our podcast system and we're going to be using controversial entertainment and educational types of videos we can do more of one style depending on what type of business you're in and who you're trying to reach. But I've generally found that these three types of contents are the ones that perform best on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, any type of short form platform. The next is short specific videos. So with short specific videos, we're going to be doing idea generation for you. So you're going to be doing reaction videos to popular videos in your niche, pretty much putting your own take on it and building yourself up as an authority figure and gathering the attention from an already popular video. You'll be giving your own take on the video. And if you agree with it, don't agree with it you'll be giving your personal opinion viral niche video iterations the video really pops off in your niche you're going to be wanting to do an iteration like for example there's a bunch of different video types we can do is whichever one's popping at the time we're pretty much just going to iterate it for our own style to make it go crazy the next type of viral content that we're going to be doing is graphic and text-based content so this would be twitter threads and linkedin posts with this we would need a copywriter if you want to automate it obviously you can do it yourself at the start if you do have a lot of time and carousels for instagram which we need a graphic designer or you can do it yourself as well if you have more time but if you do want to leverage your business and you actually want to hit those six to seven figures you're going to need to be hiring efficient team that is well trained to be doing this for yourself with attention we're building growth and then we're building the brand as well because we're getting known and we're making known associations with specific things that we want and with all of this type of content we're going to be having call to action descriptions and and the videos sometimes not all the time because with growth content you don't want to be doing too much selling as it'll hurt your growth as well with authority building content we're mostly focusing on educational style content as we're trying to educate our audience more that we actually know we're talking about and we can achieve them the solution that they desire this is also done through a call to action and it's building a connection with the audience all right so we've gone through attention building content and authority building content the last piece of the aas branding framework is selling content because if we're not selling at the end of the day we're not making money we're not paying the bills in an ideal world we never would have to sell and we can just give value and value and value and the platforms would pay us enough that we can supplement our income but obviously that's not how we're going to reach the six to seven and even eight figure range so selling content is pretty much videos you're making to your audience pitching them with your offer so for example like when alex hormozzi promoted his book he would pitch his book on an instagram story for example example what we do is turn this top performing selling videos into paid ads facebook instagram and even youtube ads as well we've seen work lately and these are all lead captures so you can notice that the other organic type of content takes way longer to actually get a lead as when you pay you're pretty much just skipping the whole system and you're going directly to a lead but we still need the organic content because without it and we're only doing paid content we don't have a brand and there's no content for them to consume meaning we don't produce enough goodwill and trust and value to our audience for them to actually trust us the the AAS branding framework works on building trust and goodwill in the audience, allowing the paid ads to benefit from all the other type of content we're doing and vice versa. If someone consumes our organic content and then they see one of our ads that directly sells to them, they might convert to a lead magnet. So this is the next step in the process. All of these different types of content are all coming together to just capture the lead. And the way we do this is through a lead magnet. So we're giving them more free value, such as a free course, a video sales letter, which is pretty much a short course 
course in itself, giving them a rundown of how the system works and building trust that you can actually get them the results that you promised in your ad or your call to action. Another way we can do this is a free community. And obviously if you want to automate it here, we're going to need a setter, pretty much sending them through to the lead magnet when they DM us or if they interact a lot with our posts, we will be having a setter hit them up to make sure that they're interested and send them in the right place and help them direct them. So after they go through our lead magnet, we're gathering contact information with which our setter will hit them up and then book them a call. So there's three different routes they can take from here. The first is through affiliate marketing. So this is doing it themselves. This is selling the shovels to the gold miners. So when it's a gold rush, for example, two types of people, the diggers who actually dig the gold and the people who sell the shovels to dig the gold. So in this context, we're selling the shovel so we're giving them the tools through affiliate links so we're still going to be making the monies even though it's going to be less than if we're actually selling them on our own product but some people like to do it themselves so we're giving them the tools the second way is through a medium ticket offer which is done for you and the third way is through a high ticket offer which they book a call and then we close them either through a closer or through yourself probably at the beginning you're going to be taking the sales calls but if you truly want a leveraged firm a leveraged company a leveraged business you're going to need a sales team as well as you can be doing more high value work yourself and of course, this is done for you. It means you're doing the highest amount of work for them. So if you're an accountant, for example, you'd be doing their whole taxes. They wouldn't have to do anything. They just send you the paperwork or you can even go inside of their business and do the paperwork for themselves. For an agency, this would really be doing the whole service for themselves. And medium ticket offer is in case they want a little bit more than a low ticket. They want some help and they don't want it all done for themselves. They kind of want to do it with you. This is where the paid community comes in. As we're nurturing them through masterminds, live Q&As and for more free value. This all leads to inbound appointments as we can showing them and we're guiding them further on to eventually upsell them into the high ticket offer as well. They can stay a medium ticket offer as long as they want, of course, because we're still earning money and we're still giving them value and we're still giving them the help that they need. But of course, eventually they're going to be wanting to upgrade to the higher ticket offer as they see that they're going to need extra help to execute on all the information we're giving them. Now you guys know the whole system, why the system works and what the top creators are doing. You stop doing your little cold outreach and start actually building a brand. If you guys want this whole system built for you, I have a link in the description to my calendar. You can book a call and we can show you how you can implement this in your business. Goodbye.